Hi my friends, I'm Fernanda Saraga and on today's episode I'm going to be explaining to you a little bit about how I paint this dreamy green landscape of mountains. I'm using a Windsor Newton, Arch, uh, Windsor -Newton watercolor uh, with uh, Princeton snap brushes in size 12 and this flat kind of head brush and I'm um, using Arches cold press cotton paper uh, and a hair dryer to dry between the layers so that I can get the nice edges to the mountains. So it needs to be completely dry and you'll see my hands sort of testing the paper uh, to ensure that it's completely dry. I mixed uh, a number of colors ahead of time to have them ready and I made them uh, in various uh, opacities. So some of them I added lots and lots of water for the really background layers and some I left uh, a little bit more saturated so you can see the color a little bit more. Uh, I started with the most pale ones in the back and as you can see I kind of create that ridge of mountains uh, with my brush and then I go back and I add a little bit of water to the flat brush and I just drag the color down a little bit so that it uh, it just blends into the paper. I just don't want to see any harsh edges at the bottom of the mountains. So I slowly build up uh, the mountain ridges and you can see this one's a little bit darker now and it does dry a little bit lighter as you know with uh, watercolor and trying to make them not quite the same. So some of them are going up a little bit. A little bit of overlap is nice, the way you see here on the right. Um, and just not making all of the ridges kind of go up with the same peaks everywhere. So I've added a little bit more color because I thought that the water kind of took away from it when I came in with the water. And then again, dragging down that brush uh, so it blends with the bottom of the page and then drying really well between the layers. Um, to combine some of these greens, I used a combination of colors. I usually really like uh, hooker's green and sap green, but for this one I wanted more of a gray tone to it. And I even added a, a little bit of a brown tone to some of the front layers that you're going to see in a minute. So for this one, I probably used a combination of uh, Viridian green, which is quite a bright green, but I toned it down with uh, some of the burnt umber and some of the brown colors. You don't have to have exactly those colors. So for these front layers, you're gonna see a little bit more of a kind of forest green. So the back layers had maybe a little bit more of a the gray tone with the Payne's gray. And then these ones have a little bit more of that brown that gives a richness to the green. And uh, I really like that contrast of the far away gray with the closer. You can see there I'm trying to remove a spot. So you can do that with cotton paper. I kind of sprayed a little bit, a couple of dots. And I just uh, put a little bit of water and uh, pressed with my paper towel and it came right up. So that's uh, a little trick you can do. You can see I've also taped the edges of my paper with that green tape and that just gives you a nice crisp line uh, to the edges uh, and, you can, and that's just painter's tape like from the dollar store so it's nothing fancy for that one at all. So you can see I'm making each layer a little bit more saturated, a little bit darker in color uh, and bringing that color down a little bit more. Um, if you want to have more space between your mountains, then I would suggest adding a little bit more color before adding that water to bring down that kind of each mountain range. Um, and again, drying very, very well between the layers, as you can see here. So the first few layers were quite even in that they're, you know, quite parallel and most a little bit of ups and downs and now I think the next few layers I'm going to do I'm going to try to do a bit of an angle to make them more in front so you can see this one starts a little bit higher and then goes down it gives a little bit of visual interest to have that um, and I think I would have liked to do that with the back layers a little bit more too maybe with the next painting I do I'll try that um, but again uh, giving it some not making it all symmetrical giving it a little bit of asymmetry and making it a little bit different. And again, uh, adding the water and bringing it down a little bit. 
uh, I kept having to make more color as you can see in my little uh, palette on the right there it's pretty empty so there I am trying to mix some of that Viridian green with a little bit of the tones of the brown and a little bit of that Payne's gray to make it a little bit darker um, and I had to do this throughout the painting, just keep making more color as needed, which is perfectly fine. And then I would test that color sometimes on my little uh, testing paper. I have a paper that I just use just to see if I like the tones next to each other. This is one of um, the last mountain ranges on the right, I think, but I believe that later I come in and darken it because I thought it needed a little bit more contrast. So I liked it, but I let it dry just a little bit more and then I think I added an extra layer uh, a little bit darker a little bit richer now unfortunately my camera gave out it's my phone I don't have a fancy camera so my uh, camera gave out before I could finish painting the entire picture but I do have a still shot of the final piece in the last 10 seconds so you can take a look at it as well you can also um, find me on Instagram I actually like to do both watercolor and I love to sketch flowers if you'd like to see any videos on how I sketch my flowers uh, looking at inspiration photos uh, please let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to try to make such a video in the future oh here I am doing another piece a little bit darker again on the left you can see again I started higher I'm making it go more on an angle and bringing it down and it kind of looks like there's almost fog behind it and there's the finished piece and you can see I actually added a little bit more color to the right piece as well thank you very much I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I see you again soon thank you